So, done with Axe now. Never did a video for any farther in John than John 4. Uh, all kinds of other stuff. It's been busy. I'm in my new apartment, as you can see. Boxes and dirty clothes. and I like it. It's nice. Dowel, chair, you know, all the essentials. Uh, so, Axe. There's a story in Axe that I love, and I don't have the reference because my computer charger isn't charging, and there's just all kinds of problems. So I've only got the little video thing. Um, there's a story in Axe that I wish that when I'd read it as a child and when I'd covered it in seminary, uh, we'd gotten the historical context. And I know I like to get into the history of this stuff a lot. And this story is a very important story for historical context. Ah, there's my hand. So, see? Stuff that's packed. This is the story of Paul at Ephesus. Uh, as you may recall, if you don't, I don't remember where an accent is. I think it's 17, 16, 15, somewhere. Paul is teaching the people at Ephesus. A silversmith named D Demetrius, if I recall correctly, gets upset and says that his that Paul preaching is going to destroy his craft. And it talks about how he makes little golden statues to Diana, Artemis. And so he basically makes a big mob and they crowd him and they just chant over and over great is diana of the ephesians um and it's the story and normally when it's presented in church contexts uh it is in the sense of these are priest crafters these are people who make their money off of selling these silver statues and and paul will destroy their livelihood and we're like talk about how it's such a terrible thing well maybe i mean probably let's be honest here but there's uh there's something else here too i'm in alabama right and Alabama, as you may know, is kind of famous for football. It's kind of the only thing, and racism. But those two things, right? Alabama football, Auburn football, racism. The three things that most people know about Alabama. So, this is where we forget things. And this is where the historical context comes in. The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. This is not just some random podunk temple. This is one of the most famous cultural landmarks in the world. Then and now. If it was still there. Because, well, yeah. That's a fun story for another time. But I haven't done the research on it that I should have, so I'm not going to get to it. So, these men are not, yes, Paul's Christianity might destroy their livelihood, yes, but it's also might destroy their entire culture. This is like somebody coming to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where the University of Alabama uh, is located, and preaching that football needs to be replaced, and that football is wrong, and all this other stuff. You're going to get a crowd of people who will stand out, who will stand around you and drown you out by yelling about how great Bama is. They will sing Rammer Jammer Yellow Hammer Give Him Hell or Alabama for at two hours at a minimum. Um, so it's more than just their livelihood. It is their life. Even if they're not, even if they are secular, this is this is one of the most amazing, beautiful buildings that's ever been constructed. And they're really worried that this cultural heritage is going to go... <laughs> so, if you've ever felt that there's a war on holidays, if you've ever felt there's a war on Christmas, if you've ever felt that there's too much commercialism in anything today, and that we need to get back to the basics, well, you should totally know how the Ephesians feel about Paul coming in and trying to replace their stuff. If you've ever felt like you're getting oppressed by anyone, not just, I mean... There's a lot of this going on in, you know, American political culture right now. Yeah, the Ephesians have a great reason to be worried. In the end, their fears really ultimately, totally, completely are founded. And we throw all of that context away most of the time. We're just saying, they're just trying to make money and they're afraid that they're not going to make money. It's not necessarily about the money. Even if it was, they've got a good reason for it to be about the money. None of us want to see our jobs replaced or just thrown out. But they have a lot more riding on this than just their personal livelihood. So, that's today's thing. Have a good day. Love you. Bye.